that. First of all, our conditions right now indicate some smog, also some fog lifting over the rivers, but where it combines with that pollution, it's smog, 72 degrees right now with a west wind at six miles an hour. We currently have a yellow sky cast. We're on our way up to an orange sky cast later this morning and early this afternoon, which is unhealthy for the sensitive group category for folks who already have problems breathing, whether that's from uh, complications due to COVID or you have asthma or emphysema. That's why we have an alert or an impact day because of that ozone alert for later today. And the best thing you can do is just limit your time outside. Try to breathe in fresh air conditioned air if you can. And you can also help reduce that ground level ozone, which is the pollutant that we're measuring by uh, driving less, creating less emissions that cause a chemical reaction reaction when it mixes with the sunlight that causes that ground level ozone. In addition to that, we also still have smoke in our atmosphere from fires in Canada, not the fires in Western Canada like we had a week ago. This time it's Eastern Canada. There are over 400 fires burning here. 240 of them are uncontained. And so there's a lot of smoke billowing up into the atmosphere. And while we're stuck in this weather pattern that's bringing in an east to northeast wind, that smoke is just coming in as a result. But there's a front present and this is where we get some good news. That front is eventually going to move through later today. Before it gets here, we make it into the upper 80s, low 90s, especially on the Kansas side. And then when the front comes through, here's our opportunity for those rain showers. You see not everybody gets them where you see the yellow and the oranges kind of pop up there. That's when the storms pulse, get very heavy rain. You might have some small hail and gusty wind when that happens. That will be followed by much more comfortable weather tomorrow. The humidity comes down. Some of our air will clean out. Hopefully we don't have to worry about an ozone alert tomorrow. In the nine day forecast, I told you we had a good day uh, for rain. It does happen on Saturday. There's a lot of activities Saturday, but we have a chance of some soaking rain followed by cooler weather on Sunday.